Our second presenter will be introduced by VHC Health System Board Member, Mary Jo Morris. Mary Jo? Hi everyone, and thank you for coming. Um, I have the privilege to serve on the board for Virginia Hospital Center. But I spent my career with Computer Sciences Corporation, largely with um, CSC. And as a business leader in CSC, one of the shared problems that we had that you'll also see in the hospital environment is attracting and retaining good employees. So our next presentation will be all about how we can better equip ourselves to do just that. So to remain competitive as an employer, attracting and retaining the very best medical team is a top pr priority for VHC. Childcare coverage for working parents and caregivers is a stressor that can become a differentiator for Virginia Hospital South Center in the marketplace. We envision a child care model that meets the needs of our healthcare workers so that they can best serve our patients. With your philanthropic investment, this concept can become a reality and will sing signal our commitment to being a leading healthcare organization who not only provides the highest level of care to our patients, but also the highest care for our employees who work tirelessly on the front lines to improve and to save lives. It is my honor and my pleasure to introduce Melody Dickerson. She's Senior Vice President of Hospital Operations and Chief Nursing Officer, and she will share how exciting this opportunity is and how it will transform the workforce for VHC Health. Thank you, Mary Jo, and thank you to everyone. Um, I know there's a lot of ways you could spend a Monday night, and I'm just honored that you would uh, spend some time with us tonight as well. So let's get to it. So VHC Health Child Care. So many of our nurses join the organization, about 150 nurses a year join our organization as a new graduate nurse. We nurture them and support them through the first year, then they become excellent professional nurses at the end of that one year. And over the years, their expertise grows and they delight the physicians and their colleagues in their knowledge and their ability to be flexible and uh, contribute to the care of our patients. Many of these nurses live 30 plus miles away from the hospital, okay? So imagine when they find out that they're now going to have a family. That's a transformational time in your life, right? And many of them have to make a decision. Do I stay at the place I love, with the people I love to work with, taking care of the patients that I love as well? Or do I make the smart choice and go uh, find a job closer to home so that I can have the child care that is convenient for my family? 47% of healthcare workers plan to leave their current roles within the next three years. We know that nurses within that for one to four years are at greatest risk for leaving the organization. We surveyed our, our staff, not just nurses, but all staff. We had a tremendous response. We had 573 respondents to the survey. 63% of those who were surveyed said that they were planning to start a family in the next one to four years, okay? So 75% of voluntary resignations are among nurses in the first four years as well. So I don't think that there is a um, coincidence in that case. Traditional child care centers um, are able to accommodate um, your typical working schedule. There's a lot of things about healthcare that are not typical, okay? Um, when we asked in our survey what hours our healthcare workers would like to see offered in a child care, anybody care to guess what time the start time was? 6 a.m. Yep, 6 a.m. to 8 
p.m. Now, those of you that have maybe been a working parent or maybe even not a working parent who use childcare, um, remember the anxiety when you were running late, right? And the charge per minute, right? Uh, so again, 48% said that they would need full-time childcare. So again, a tremendous need. So one third of hospitals offer childcare. And so this is a market differentiator between us and our competition, frankly. 85% um, of the staff said that they would be interested in uh, childcare if it were offered. 67% said they would change childcare if VHC offered childcare. So I know this is a startling statistic for every 1% in nurse turnover, it costs the organization about $350,000, okay? Well, that cost, that monetary cost, pales in comparison to what we really lose when we lose nurses. We lose organizational knowledge. We lose a little bit of our culture, right? We lose the charge nurse, the preceptor, and even the future leader. Um, the solution is a child care center, okay? A child care center that is on campus or near campus, ideally walking distance from the hospital. So when that mother is coming back to work after having their, their child, if they wanna pop in and see their child during their lunch break, they can do that. Um, it would consist of feasibility studies, planning, site planning, finding those with expertise in childcare so that we could not only offer childcare, but we could offer the best childcare in the state of the facilities, the outdoor space, the equipment, the developmental education, so that when these children leave the childcare to go to school, that they are more than prepared to do that. So the benefits to the employee in addition to the convenience and you know, literally being able to go to work, drop your kid, and uh, get right at it without having to worry about you know, what happens if uh, the, the daycare decides to change its hours because you know, there aren't enough people who want to drop their kid off at 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, you know, one thing we know about our employee group is they are a very diverse employee group. 75% of our employees are non-white. And so again, when you think about that being reflected into a childcare center, when you think about the, the um, highest level paid employee going to, to childcare with the lowest level employee, um, I think there's a real beauty and synergy and really speaks to the culture of VHC and the environment that we're trying to build within our hospital, within our patient group, and within our um, within our, our children as well. Employees may leave a job, but not many people want to leave good childcare. <laughs> Says the mother of three, okay? Uh, so again, uh, the uh, benefits of retention, it eases the staffing shortages. The, the more we retain our nurses, the more that they want to stay. There are, um, you know, indirect benefits to this that go well beyond the obvious of, of um, the expense of the turnover. Uh, Work-life balance does impact the resiliency of our staff at all levels. And the emotional bank account that that employee is able to bring to work every day that they can give back to the patients that they serve. Affordable and convenient childcare is a tool that is currently lacking from the tool belt that we have as hospital leaders in order to create and maintain the environment that um, those of you in this room have come to enjoy. So closing the gap. Um, we need $3 million uh, to, to build and equip and find the expertise to create such a program. Uh, we need leadership and expertise and we need to create that safe and friendly childcare experience for our, our children. 
So this one slide kind of sums it up. Um, one thing that's important for the group to know is this project simply will not happen without philanthropic support. It just won't happen. So we really need uh, this, this support. Uh, uh, see, I actually ran the numbers today. I have a, uh, I, I keep the tenure of our employees so I can announce them on Monday's message. And so I ran the statistics and I just, I pulled, um, and I'm geographically challenged, my colleagues would tell you, I'm really not good at directions, but I picked those areas that I knew were a commute of more than 45 minutes away, like Lorton, Stafford, Fredericksburg. I found over 500 employees who live that distance away from our hospital. So again, it speaks to the need to have, you know, to be able to bring your child to work, so you speak, and know when you go to work that you're getting the outstanding child care. You don't have to worry about what traffic is gonna be like on the way home, right? That you're gonna be able to pick up your child at the end of your shift and go home together and at least get to spend that time together. The <laughs> traffic, yeah. Um, this project will make it easier for our families and our employees to manage that work-life balance and not have to make those difficult choices that they are today. Thank, Thank you. you. Look forward to seeing some of you shortly. Thank you.